In the past few years, I've noticed a very positive trend. There are an increasing number of very, very good programmers who create very cool things. This is fantastic in itself because there are an increasing number of cool video games and programs created by extremely skilled programmers. In addition, there are a ton of people with whom you can discuss the subject, learn from and draw inspiration from. However, this actually very good thing has one problem. And unfortunately, I keep observing that programming beginners don't understand that it is okay to be a beginner and that you don't have to play at the same level of quality that other programmers work at. I mean sure, with so many skilled developers out there these days, it's not surprising that you see some very inspiring and cool stuff on social media every day. But unfortunately, many programming beginners keep comparing their own beginner works with professional works that they found on social media. And very often it happens that this comparison ends in frustration and you don't want to share your own project with others, you might even discard them completely and start something new again. If you're new to programming, I have a very important message for you. It's okay to be a beginner, or as they say in the gaming jargon, it's okay to be a total noob in the field. It's important that you write bad code first, because how are you supposed to know what bad code is, or even what good code is, unless you've already written the bad code yourself and seen why it's bad. It is important that you implement small projects yourself and share them with other people so that you can simply experience success and gain learning experience. And no, these projects do not have to be at a professional level so that you can share them with other people. Understand that learning to code is a journey. You're not a professional right from the start and that's okay. Nobody expects great achievements except you. When you stop constantly comparing yourself to other people and questioning the quality of your software non-stop, then you make progress and then you create many small applications. In the beginning maybe a lot of small games, later bigger projects and over time you will see that you have a whole backlog of projects where you can see that you've gotten better and better over time. So don't stress yourself, just learn to program and be creative. That's what programming languages are for, to be creative in solving problems and developing software. And it doesn't matter how good your software is in the end, the main thing is that you're making progress, that you're getting better as a programmer and that's what it's all about. I wanted to address this topic shortly, because I see newcomers to programming just don't want to face the fact that they are still newbies at the moment. And that holds them back or makes them quit because of frustration. In that way, you put a lot of unnecessary pressure on yourself because you don't give yourself time and that is what I wanted to point out. By the way, if you're a Java programmer and want to make quick learning progress, then you should definitely take a look at Captain Jay Sparrow, our design refactoring tool. Jay Sparrow is your Java refactoring partner and can help you find and fix code bugs, remove code smell and even teach you Java best practices. At Jay Sparrow, we have made it our mission to help programmers to increase their code quality automatically and we have already applied Jay Sparrow to several open source projects with incredible results. The best thing is that you can use Jay Sparrow for free. If that sounds interesting to you, then just click on the link in the video description and get a taste of how Jay Sparrow can be useful for you. I'm sure you will love it. We also have our members area where we are building a like-minded programming community in which you can exchange ideas about programming in general and we also offer some other great incentives. In that sense, that's it with the video. If it helped you and you definitely want to stay up to date with programming, then subscribe to this channel, activate the bell and leave a like below this video. This way you will be regularly confronted with our new content and can get a better programmer step by step. For the rest, I wish you a wonderful day, have fun programming and see you next time. Goodbye.